Okay, once again here, this is a face of the Earth, planet Earth. This is an image brought back, given back by uh, NASA. What we're going to take and do with this, this planet's this face is we're going to take Pakistan. Pakistan is Pakistan. We're going to take the P and turn it upside down. And turn it over, it becomes the letter D. So from Pakistan, we're going to have the PA becomes DA. K is the 11th alphabet. As 11th, um, it is the 11th alphabet. Okay. So what we do here is K equals 11, which is 1, 1. Okay. Now 1 plus 1 equals 2. And all we're going to do is we're going to take the 2 and we're just going to do 2 and we're going to do it sideways. See? That's the number 2. We're just going to put it sideways and insert it here. We're going to take the I from Pakistan and insert it here. That leaves the leftover letter Stan. But what's, worth, what's missing from Stan? Stan? Well, the letter D is missing from Stan because the D makes it stand. So we know the letter D is missing from Pakistan, from the word stand. So we add the D and we add it down here. And what Pakistan becomes is it becomes the name David. If you're familiar with the story of David and Goliath, Pakistan is David. Now, what you have to understand here is we have Pakistan. We have Pakistan, which represents David. Now, what we have here, if you look here, if I were to pick this up here and hold that here, we have these two coming up here. So if I were to pick up India and hold it here, I would have these two up coming up here. If I take Sri Lanka, which I told you Sri Lanka breaks down to wrist and ankle, which means stick, I would put Sri Lanka across here. And what I would have formed is a would form a slingshot. I would hold it here. I would have the stick across here, which I would which I would pull back. So this would be a slingshot. Also Sri Lanka itself, that's Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka itself also represents a pebble. So it is the um it would be the band of the uh, slingshot as well as the pebble. So it would go from here to form the band, and it would have a pebble in it. And this would be a slingshot, and this would be David. Here is India, who is large, very large. So when we insert it across here, we insert it across here to form the slingshot with pebble on it. When we let it go, it would aim and it would hit the head. This is India. But India represents Goliath. So it would hit and be aimed and it would hit the head of Goliath. And how do I know that this is Goliath? because of my entry into the Royal Society of Chemistry, where I explain India. Well, maybe I didn't explain India in there, but I will explain India um, in the video that I do on the Bohemian Grove. Goliath, the opposite of Lieth, is Siddith, and India is Go-Siddith. So India is Goliath, because opposite of lie is to sit, opposite of lie down is to sit down. So she is Goliath. And the reason why she is Goliath is because she is go sitteth. She is the one who go sitteth upon the throne in Niagara Falls. When you combine the horseshoe falls, which is shaped like a horseshoe, and you sit your behind in the seat of the horseshoe, you put Niagara Falls on the back, it becomes a great big chair. It becomes a great big throne. When you take Goat Island, the words in Goat spell Toga. Toga is a white dress. You take Bridal Veil Falls and you take the Bridal Veil. So now you have the white dress. You have the Bridal Veil. You have the Bride. So 
she, India, is Goliath, because the opposite of Goliath is go sitteth, and she is the woman who will go sitteth on that throne. And I will get much deeper into all that when we get into the Bohemian Grove, when we get into the God, when we get into the India, the female coming outside of the God, who comes into the earth, who sits in the chair, who sits on the throne, who puts on the robe, who puts on the, the wedding veil, who takes it off, who lays it across the back of her shoulders, who becomes the Pope, who becomes that of the Jew, um, when she becomes that, who cries tears of the books of religion, when she sits there with Teflon on arm and head, when she picks up the Great Wall of China, and she picks up the Wailing Wall, uh, the Wailing Wall being the Jewish Wall, the Great Wall of China being the Asian Wall, when you see her sitting there as the Asian Jew. But we will get into that at a much later date, hopefully not too much later, but it's quite a lengthy um, presentation that I have to present to you from beginning to end. I have to show you the five parts of religion represented there on the throne. It's pretty deep. I'll get it to you as quickly as I can for those who are interested. Um, God bless.